So now onto breaking apart and going into the slide. So you are going to want to remove the firing pin right there, which is going to require you to pop out the firing pin retaining pin onto this side. Always come from the left side of the frame when removing your firing pin. It is a slightly larger hole on this side than on this side, and that will play a role. Just don't even try the other way. Don't scratch your frame. It's stupid. All right, so I'm going to use my punch the appropriate size and hammer this out. And so I really, I really want to get that CZ specific block. I think it's going to hold this in a lot better. So again, let's see. It's kind of, you have to definitely hit this with some pressure. So um, let's see if we'll have enough space here for me to hammer it. All right, so I'm starting to make some progress right in there. If you do not hold this down with the right tension right here with your fingers, kind of how I was doing when I was popping the safety out, if this pops out, jumps around, don't, don't ever use a rubber mallet. That's a really, really fast way to scratch your frame right there. So I'm starting to make the movement. Good. And notice how I can't get this on the flat surface because the extractor protrudes on this side. So I am kind of having to finagle it right here. So, and I'll just uh, speed up through this. All right, so I got that out. I ended up having to use the other side of my bench or my block, pushed it out over the side, hung it over, and, and popped it out that way. Held a little bit better in place. So the punch is still in. I just just got it out. And, uh, oh, and key point, uh, you can see this is like, I couldn't even tell you, maybe six times it's been dry fired onto. And you can see how that's already dinging this right here. So that's why you see a lot of the guys in the forum getting, recommending uh, Cajun Gunworks uh, different firing pin, retaining pin. So if you're gonna dry fire at all, that's key. So have that, it's still, it's under tension. So I, you know, push in on the firing pin right here. And what's gonna happen is you're, honestly, it's not going to come out. I take this out and you'll see it stops again. And it is the firing pin block that's now holding it in place. So I'm going to push in, push the firing pin block up. And that has allowed, that has pulled this off. So as I'm doing this, it's still nice to just kind of depressurize that the whole way through. It comes right on out. See, they don't put oil and grease. I don't recommend it for this portion. They do, I guess, for here. This is not typically polished, side note. This is uh, something that is unique to these SPM compacts, at least that I've seen. It wasn't typical of my other CZs. Here's the firing pin uh, block. Here's the plunger spring. So some people don't uh, report getting a lot of return by getting a reduced power uh, plunger spring, but um, I've seen that usually drop trigger pull by about half a pound, eh, a little less, but it's still nice when you're trying to clean that up. So, all right. Ah, I forgot to add, when I pulled the firing pin out, you need the firing pin spring right there. It just didn't come out with it. There we go. Now, she is broken down, ready to clean and polish and move forward.